Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, we are going to work on uh, Lab 10 Key Vault implementing secure data by setting up the always encrypted. We are actually going to do a lot more than what the title says. Uh, but this lab is part of the AZ500 Azure security technologies. And if you go to Microsoft Learning GitHub repository, there are actually multiple AZ500 labs. Make sure that you're choosing the right lab. I'm going to give you the link. And we are doing or redoing some of these labs because uh, they were very recently updated as uh, soon as like uh, as early as last seven days back so we have completed all of these labs so far and we are working on lab 10 now so far every single lab I have done it in one video they were a little bit long but I still try to keep it in one video in this particular lab I'm going to divide that in multiple parts there are couple reasons this lab is going to be a little complicated probably than other labs and you have more chances to chances to go wrong so you have to troubleshoot and although they are estimating it's gonna take about an hour I bet that you probably gonna end up a lot more than that so really couple things that we're gonna do we're gonna create a Azure key vault and we're gonna use that uh, to do the always encrypted feature uh, within uh, SQL database and then we're also gonna gonna write an application and then see how the application can use the Azure key vault to uh, to connect to the database and and use the encryption feature so again we have uh, exercise one two three four what I'm gonna do I'm gonna combine these two and do as part of this video then I'm gonna separate out these two as well so for this lab you need couple of a uh, couple of files and those files will be here so you just have to go back to the instructions page and go down to labs and la oh no sorry you have to go back to the uh, top of the repository go to all files labs go down to lab 10 folder and then here is the program.cs and here is the azure 500 azure deploy.json so uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna first deploy the base infrastructure from the arm template now they have already provided the arm template for us so that it's got everything like your SQL studio uh, then uh, visual studio all of that installed uh, already for you so we don't spend too much time uh, deploying those resources so what we will do we'll just go to our Azure and uh, let me yeah let me make sure it's all clean looks clean so we're gonna search for template deployment let's see template deployment is under the marketplace the first one click on that one and uh, what we'll do we are going to click on build my own template and then load file and come back and as you deploy.json is the file that we're gonna pick up uh, let me make sure that is the file that they want yep so in this one uh, we are going to create a new resource group easy 500 lab 10 so we are here so if I hit save it will bring me to this page with whole bunch of uh, you know already customized uh, setting for us so here I'm going to put the resource group west us I'm going to change that back to east East US and then uh, our username password is good and over here if you look at it it's going to deploy seven different resources and what we will do validation is successful so we're going to hit create <laughs> excuse me now this deployment process may take up to 20 minutes so give it just a minute and you will have this task done so that wasn't too difficult is it uh, the next task would also be pretty simple to do uh, here we're just going to configure uh, Azure Key Vault and uh, we're going to create uh, add a key to the key vault and we're going to add a, a secret to the key vault the only thing that makes this a little bit complicated maybe we're going to use the Azure PowerShell to do the work uh, but it's trust me it's not that difficult at all and you can follow everything that we are doing uh, from the cloud cell as well so we'll complete all of this and we'll stop right here uh, uh, so that 
we can start configuring the Azure SQL. And to do this, you really have to wait for the deployment of the ARM template must be done because it's it's deploying some of the resources that you will end up using uh, when you get to the exercise three. So let's just come over here. So if you look at it, uh, we can most likely continue with this section of the lab. So what we will do, we are going to run this command for us. So this is gonna, uh, sorry, we are gonna get as your key for resource name. So, so I think we may have to wait. Let me see. run the following to add the software protected key so here get as your key vault resource group net so i don't even have this key vault so right now i don't have any key vault so i bet what is happening no our key vault oh, so key vault is here okay so yeah we actually we can do this so create and configure the key vault so let's come back over here so here what we'll do we're going to create a key vault name and we are going to add a random number uh, we'll append number numbers to AC 500 KV. Then we're gonna get the location from the resource group, which will be East US. And we're gonna create a new key vault. We'll provide this key vault name right here and the location right there. And resource group is the resource group that we have just created in, in the deployment that's going on right now, right? So let's just copy all that command and uh, come back over here and let's see if we can move to the PowerShell and in the meantime I'm going to open up a new notepad window that we're going to uh, use to store some of the stuff that we will periodically need in our deployment. So over here we first created this KV name then we created the location and now it's creating the key vault for us so if we go over here and just search for key vault there shouldn't be any and if you see any that's because uh, it's still not nothing in here so if we keep refreshing there should be one it will show up momentarily okay this is still going on yeah there we go uh, so the key file got created. So if we come back over here, refresh, you will see the name of the key file. So just copy this one. This is the uh, key file that we're gonna end up using. So that is the key file. And uh, come back over here. You see that it says warning access policy not set. If you don't have access policy, then nobody can use the key file. So please use set easy key file policy to set the access policy. So you can set the access policy from uh, the portal or also using the parcel. Let's see what we're doing here in the in the lab. So we're done with this part So what it's telling us go find the resource group and then uh, go to the resource group and Go to the key fault that's got created go to the access policy and click on add access policy so they're saying okay, just let's just do this from the uh, from the from the uh, from the portal so come back over here this is the one you come back down and under settings you have the access policy click on that one then click on the add access policy and come back to the lab use key secret and management and then for key permission secret permission and certificate permission we're going to select all of it and uh, in the principal blade we are going to select my own account so let's just come over here all three here I'm gonna click on the select all now see the number has changed to 16 this is seven permissions are selected I'm gonna select all that's now eight here we had 18 selected click on this it's now uh, 16 so all of the permissions are now selected select principal right now there is none selected I'm gonna choose my username so that is the one I've got selected that one Let's see what else it's telling us to do. Click non selected on the principal tab, select your user account and hit select. Okay. 
Now back on the access policy, click add to add the access policy. Back on the access policies blade on the key fold, click save to your changes. So if you see over here what we just did, uh, application we haven't registered anything. So I'm just gonna click add and then over here I'm gonna I'm gonna hit save to save uh, my user and I have all kinds of permissions in here okay to use this particular key vault so we got that uh, next we're gonna add a key to the key vault again you can do this with the portal or you can also do it using parcel we're gonna do parcel here so what its command is doing this is first gonna get the key vault and store it in KV then uh, get the as your key vault is going to add as your key vault key the name of the key is going to be my lab key and the destination software and it's going to use the key vault dot name so all the properties that i have it's going to find out the key vault and do this so copy this come back over here paste and this one should have added the key to our vault so if you come back over here to the key vault go to the keys you should see a my lab key so that's got created over here again uh, you can also check this out whether it got created in the parcel as well so over here you can also run this particular command and this is going to give you back the key name okay so the last thing uh, we can also get the key, I, key ID or the key ID if you run this particular command and there we go so that is the key ID that got created alright so we can minimize the cloud cell now and uh, we can go to and then keys and uh, list of keys click on the my lab key enter and then blade click the entry representing current version of the key so over here we already kind of did that over here you can click on this and this is showing the current version of the key so and it's enabled state so that all looks good and examine the information about the key that you created so we just did that so the last thing that we're going to do in this video is add a secret to the key fault again we're going to use a secret value so we're going to change this password to a string in a, to a secure string and then uh, as plain text and we're going to run this command okay so uh, what's going to happen if you come back over here and then paste the command it's so password if you run uh, it just do this and hit enter so uh, did anything happen system security secure string is all got printed interesting so um, we got our our secret value come back over here one more time and I'm gonna rerun this again okay so that's got uh, created and uh, the next thing the name of the secret is SQL uh, okay so over here I'm gonna copy this one uh, this is gonna create the secret and put it in the Azure key vault so come back over here and paste the command and uh, here in this case SQL password should have been created in my key vault so let's come back go to the key vault and this time it's a secret so SQL password so it's got created that is the current version of it and uh, there we go and let's see secret value if I click on show secret value and you can see that uh, the password one to report that we have started with it's there so that's all worked nicely and then the last thing you can also run this command to verify that's got created instead of going to the portal so you could just run this command right here and there we go so you have the SQL password that's got created properly that's a secret and uh, it's available to you so the last thing that we're gonna do we're gonna go, go back to the settings and secrets and we, we just looked at it just make sure that this entry is available 
and uh, you can also have you, you know we already looked at it even for the secret you have uh, you have a version this is the current version okay so if you change and save it will come up with a different version so you can also track the version how many versions of SQL password that we have saved over here all right so that's all I wanted to cover in this lab we kind of went over really the key vault and quickly how to create the key vault policies so come back over here one more time okay we looked at the keys and you can also generate or import keys if you like <clears throat> and uh, if you do generate you can uh, key type you can have a RSA or EC and based on uh, the key type you select you can select the key size as well you can even even set the activation date and expiration date if you like and uh, we looked at the secrets uh, it's simpler than the keys you just have a name and a value that would be the your secret like your password maybe uh, and certificates we haven't done if you you can generate a certificate again or you can uh, import your own certificate if you want to manage it over here uh, then access policy is something we looked at uh, there are a few things that are not turned on over here but if you need say as your disk encryption and you want to store the encryption keys in this key vault you have to turn this on uh, if you want to use as your resource manager for template deployment uh, and the resource manager will need and if it needs to retrieve a password from the key vault you need to turn on this one again the virtual machine deployment uh, if you have certificates and stuff like that you you need to turn on this one as well so I'm not going to turn on anything right now uh, and uh, go back to the lab and that's the end of the first part so if you like the video again give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for the video for more and before we close just take a quick look and see if the deployment that we started is done or not so it's not done. So if you see the deployment is still in progress. That's the deployment we started at the beginning of the lab. So before we close, also go to the resource group. So this is the resource group that is getting created. And just take a quick look at the resources that is creating. Okay, so key is creating a key vault, which we have been so this key vault actually we created manually it's, it was not part of the deployment but the rest of the stuff we did not create network interface network security group public ip it looks like it's also created sql database sql server uh, it created a storage account a virtual machine and a virtual network and uh, the deployment is still not done and it's uh, it's still going on okay so uh, hopefully when we meet we'll have the deployment completed and uh, we will uh, so it's only 14 minutes that we have started this deployment it may take 20 to 25 minutes as per the lab so we'll come back and work on the next two parts of this series thank you for watching